Hi, Shiva Rajaya here from vitalcoaching.com. We're talking about coupling dynamics and the topic for this video is shadow checks. We are talking again about clear communication, establishing some clear communication protocols in your relationship. If the word protocol freaks you out, <laughs> you know, don't be scared by this. What we're talking is about establishing some form of safety structure in the way you communicate in a relationship. And this is going to really change uh, the dynamics of your coupling experience. If right now you feel like you're fighting a lot and don't know really how to communicate with your partner. So a shadow check is something very simple. It is that if you have something challenging emerging in your field, whatever this might be, whether it's related with your partner, with uh, the coupling dynamics, something that is going on, some hurt, some wounding, or something that you need to process and that you want to voice, or something that might be happening in your partner that you don't understand, the goal is this. You go to your partner and say, hey, I'm feeling like there is some form of dissonance in the field right now. I would love to do a shadow check with you. See what's happening. Because I feel like there is a shadow. Let's do a shadow check. So when is a good time? And your partner might be like, yeah, maybe tomorrow. Let's, let me check. Maybe Thursday, 7 p.m. We can go for, for a drink somewhere or... Yeah, let's go and sit in the park or let's go in nature. Let's go for a walk in the forest and do a, a shadow check while we are, while we are walking. And uh, you, might say, you might be like, what is this about? You say, oh, it's just something I'm feeling a dissonance. I have some challenging emotions coming into your field. Nothing big. It's nothing major. But I just want to, to check that with you. You see, it's very tender. It's very soft. It's very respectful. There is no attack. There is no aggressive energy. There is no charge behind that. You're just like, oh, yeah, it looks like my partner is experiencing something. Let's open a safe space to do a shadow check. And so a shadow check, you know, the shadow itself can be anything that kind of might be disturbing or a dissonance or something that you are not too comfortable with. The moment you bring it up and then when uh, the time comes for the shadow check, it's like you open the space Again, you can set up the time or not if you prefer not, but you know, give, give your partner five, ten minutes maybe. Then you go like, okay, what's, what's alive? What's going on? You say, wow, you know, lately I, I feel like you are working a lot and I feel starting to be disconnected from you and uh, I don't like that feeling. I don't know what to do about it. I noticed that there were moments where, um, you know, we were supposed to meet and then you, you couldn't make it and so... I feel like right now there is a prioritizing of your, of your business and uh, I feel like we are being neglected as a couple and our romantic space is not being nurtured right now. See, for instance, that could be a sharing, right? It could be something that is alive. It comes from a place of pose and peace. It's not an attack. It's not a blame. It's not like, you know what? Yeah, you are completely neglecting me right now. You see, it's not, it's a very different way of sharing. You share from a place, you're posed, and you say, I'm facing this challenge. I don't know about what to do about it. Can you help me? Can we design something together? And so when you receive that, that feedback or that reflection, you know, what you want to do is first you pose, first you integrate what the person is really saying, what your partner is really saying. And then if you want to offer some reflection, say, wow, okay, yeah, I hear you. You know, gratitude for, for sharing your truth. And then um, the, the, the follow-up might be what you suggest we do about it. What, when is the moment or what are the things or the core behaviors that we could be changing in our relationship so that you feel more fulfilled and you feel more seen and you feel more nurtured by what you are experiencing? Or you might come up with solutions. Yeah, I can see your point. You're right. Lately, I have been neglecting our coupling experience. I can see why you would feel hurt by that. So acknowledging. Or you might be like, you know what? I already told you um, that I'm really busy with this project. And right now, I have to prioritize that. So this is going to keep on going until uh, Monday next week. And after that, I promise we will have time to spend together. You know, for instance, that might be your response. But at least you know what's happening. At least you are sharing from a place of truth and voicing what, what is alive. The solution might be um, as well, hey, I hear what you're saying. I totally agree with you. Here's what I'm going to do. Next week, I'm not going to take work back home. I'm going to finish work at 5 every day. And then once I come back home, it's just romantic time and sensual time with you. How does that sound? 
You see, it's a, it's a, it's a very easy exchange. If you don't feel uh, aggressed by the feedback, if you don't take it personally, if you don't enter into reactive mode, you co-create a solution. And so opening that space, that shadow check space, is a powerful way to, you know, to activate um, a resolution vibration in, uh, in your relationship when a challenge comes in.